Everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and support. If you are new to my channel, welcome to our YouTube group family. Today we going to learn a few things about camera raw filter presets. How we can save our own presets. How we can find it on our PC, laptop, how we can install the presets and can use them later. Let's get started. This is the image that we recently created in the last tutorial. If you have watched it yet, I am adding an eye button please go and watch it. Let's open the camera raw filter. Here you can see the changes we have made in our last tutorial. Go to preset, or press shift plus P for presets. Here you can find different presets given by Adobe. You can save your own too. Let's name it Emma, so that we can find it easily. Let's move to my PC. Usually, we cannot find the presets we have saved because the system has made them hide. Let's unhide all the hidden folders. Go to your Windows drive in which you have installed your window. Go to users. Go to your account. I have given my PC my own name, so I am opening it. Go to app data. Go to roaming. Now find the Adobe folder. Then find out camera raw. After this, go to the setting folder. Here you can see the preset we have saved earlier. You can share this file with anyone by simply copying and sending to anyone. Now we will learn how we can install presets we have downloaded from a different website or your friends have shared with you. I have de downloaded presets for this tutorial from a random website. Let extract this here. Oops, where the folder is gone. Open the folder. I am copying some random presets and going to install them into that folder. Again go to Windows Drive. Users. Muhammad Danish. App Data. Roaming. Adobe. Camera Raw. Setting. Paste the copied files here. Let's take a look at the name of these presets we have installed here. Let's get back to our Photoshop. I am closing this image so that we can apply our saved preset on different images. Let's take a random image from our recent. Press Ctrl plus zero to fit the image on the canvas. Duplicate layer. 
Press Ctrl plus J short key to duplicate. Convert it into a smart object. The advantage of smart object it is non-destructive, and you can make changes later. As you saw earlier at the start of this tutorial. Go to Camera Raw Filter. Press Presets. Go to Users Presets. Here you can see the presets we have installed just before. Let's apply our demo name presets which we saved before. You can make changes in the settings if required again. Here is before and after one click magic. These presets can help you when you are dealing with the bulk of images. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this short tutorial and learned something new. If you liked my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you for watching.